Now then, guys, welcome to Strides Gaming and welcome to an absolute mess of an episode. This is part 41. This is the third time I've tried recording this episode and we've got a league game instead of some other games. Well, I'm just going to get straight into the schedule. I'll tell you why things haven't gone to plan. My audio just didn't record. And I didn't notice. I recorded three videos, went to go edit them, and none of them had audio. So there's been a hell of a lot of football played since you've last seen us. There's also been a lot of losses and not a lot of wins. So last time you saw us, it was against Aberdeen and West Brom. And then we've kind of just gone on. We, we lost against Man United 3-1. We beat Crystal Palace 2-1. We drew against Everton 2-2. We Peterborough was 3-2. We managed to get into the next round of the FA Cup. We lost against Watford with a last-minute goal, which really, really annoyed me. Arsenal, we got a draw, 1-1. I'll take the draw. That's not too bad. But then a loss against Chelsea, 3-1. Everton in the league, we lost 2-0. Then we played Bayern Munich in the knockout stages. And you only get one, one go at it, to be honest with you, in this season for some reason. I thought the knockout stages were two rounds. They weren't. We played Bayern Munich. I do apologise. I really do apologise that... This game wasn't on the uh, wasn't on the channel. I did record it, but there's no point in you guys watching it without any uh, out any sound. But we lost three 0 It was a poor, poor, poor performance from us. We didn't turn up again. Then we played Wolves in the FA Cup fifth round. Of, I recorded that. That didn't work. We lost three two. Lost the cheat getting two goals. They got a goal in the 76 minute, and we just couldn't come back. So at the minute, as things stands, we're one, three, four, five, six games without a win. Um, yeah, six games without a win in all competitions is not good. The league table is looking bad. We are 22nd, uh, not 22nd, we've got 22 points, 16th. We had all them games in, games in hand and we just haven't capitalised on it at all. We are massively struggling. I feel like this season, Europe is Europe has just ruined us. They really have ruined us. I didn't get anywhere in the Cowboy Cup yet again. The FA Cup, I reached, I actually did what they wanted us to do, but the board confidence isn't that great. I haven't had a meeting yet about us not winning and where we are in the league. I just need to get a win today. So today we have got, we've got West Ham and then we've got Tottenham. We need to beat West Ham and I don't know what to do. I'm tempted to change the tactic up a little bit. So if we go into the tactic before we get into this game, I'm thinking maybe Tick Attacker, just for something different. Um... Putting you as a shadow striker because that has worked. Inside forward. I'm tempted to do this. Put wing backs because that's what you want to play. Wing backs. I might play Ron to be honest with you. He's not had a good start to his life at Sunderland. But he's getting there. I don't know if you guys have seen this guy. Because it's been that long since I played football. I bought him a, this, this guy called Ron. 22 years of age. He's Brazilian. He's all right. He's not bad. He just needs needs to get going. Uh, right. So I think this is the team we're going to be lining up. I'm just going to have a look. I might put Ozil is on the bench. He's maybe a, a shout. But we're, we're definitely missing Jensen. Jensen's injury, is for, for midfield anyway, we've, we've missed Jensen. Um, Izzy Brown, again. Izzy Brown, Tamari Gray. They're kind of... Players that would have been in and around the squad on the bench coming on, but we haven't had chance. We haven't really rotated that much. Lee McDermott started. Just I'm going to start him instead of Diaz. Diaz has not had a good couple of games. In fact, no. Screw. I am going to start Diaz. He is our top goal scorer. If we have a look, um, injuries has just been a massive problem this season. And the centre of the park, midfield wise, we're just not good enough. And I, I am. There's also a temptation. Ganados, this guy is it. Granados. I keep saying his game wrong. Uh, name wrong, but. He is, his stats are just awesome. At centre back, he can play at left back, he can play defensive midfield, he can play in midfield. I just don't know what position to play him at. At the minute, he's going to be at centre back with a with all them stats and just hopefully he'll do all right. We could put him as a ball winning midfielder and train him as that, and he could be an amazing ball win ball winning midfielder. Um But I'll just have to get on with it and see. Hopefully. This records all right today. It looks like the audio is going. I can see it going up. So that's fine. So let's just get straight into this game against West Ham. We're at home. We need a win massively. 
Let's take revenge on what happened last time. They probably beat us last time. And then we've changed the tactic. Hopefully we don't need to change the formation. Um, I don't want to have to try and play the 4-3-3 because that's the, the only other formation I'm thinking may work for us. But we've got three half-decent attacking midfielders and getting them out of the team is not probably a good idea. Right, first highlight of the game and it's a free kick to West Ham. I'm already worried. I might just drop it down to balance, playing positive. We've been on a poor run of form recently. We haven't had any chance, chances yet. We haven't, well, we've had the possession. We've just not had a shot on goal within 20 minutes. And it's not like this Sunderland team. Normally, we are quite attacking. So, Harry Maguire, can you build out from the back? Plays the ball over the top. There's no one there, though. And then West Ham just comes straight on the break again. Can we win the ball? We, uh, we win it, and it just keeps going back to the West Ham players. Davis to Henry. Oh, this is going to be a goal for West Ham. I can feel it. Chong, can he win the ball? No, he can't. Chong misses his tackle. Mumba... Then eventually gets it and the ball goes out for a throw-in. We're just not keeping hold of the ball, are we? Right, half-time and it's nil-nil and we've had two shots. I Things haven't gone our way. I'm not going to be too harsh on the team because the team are getting a bit annoyed that I keep yelling at them. So we'll just go back out there again. It's not too bad. Like I say playing ticket tackle. We're trying to keep the possession, try and have some shots. We're playing balance. We're not particularly attacking or been sitting back but they've got another free kick is this going to be their goal Lumley makes the save Robertson's there and he does manage to clear it <sighs> need to make some subs but again I don't know who to bring on right another free kick to West Ham we've, we've given a lot of free kicks away which is worrying as well Wilshere is on the ball McNair can we win the ball we can't Ball over the top to Davis, to Oxford, to Ojo, to Davis. This is going to be a West Ham goal. I can feel it now. As soon as it goes to a West Ham goal, I'm going to have to make some changes. I'm going to change the tactic, I think. We've done all right, 0-0, but we need a win massively. And there's the chance. They, manage, they do miss the chance, right. I'm going to make some subs. Who's performing poorly? Mamba's not having a great game. Loftus Cheek's doing all right. Maybe if I drop Loftus Cheek there, bring on James Madison. Yeah, James Madison. Attack midfielder. Change up the uh, go vertical tick attacker, maybe. Chong's having a poor game. Diaz, again, he's not in the game. Let's bring on Lee McDermott. Yeah, bring him on. Damari Gray, it's annoying me Damari Gray's injured because he's come back from his injury and then struggled and got injured in training so he hasn't even had a game for ages which is annoying but it's going to be another West Ham attack I don't know whether me changing the the tactic again is going to cause any problems but McNair with the big ball over the top I thought would have thought Ganados was <laughs> what a save by Lumley I thought would have thought Ganados would have um, won that header but Lumley yet again with an amazing save keeping us in this game just it's going to be West Ham's goal. Reese Oxford, there we go. I'm going to have to go attacking. I'm going to have to shout at them. Demand more. We're in the relegation zone, guys. And I said we're going to finish top half, ta top half of the table. Maybe I was being a bit too ambitious with what I was wanting to do because we had a stupidly good season. This might be my last one. Generally might be my last season at Sunderland. I might get sacked this season, um, which is worrying. Um, I don't know what to do. I generally don't know what to do. I've got too many defenders on the bench because I haven't got any midfielders. I've got Ozil. Let's drop him in the centre of the park just to get off Amos. So we've got two central midfielders now who aren't capable of playing in that role. I'm sure they can play in that role further back, but oh, we need... We just need something. We need... A win against Tottenham, or a God knows what. I really don't know, but if we get relegated, Telly now will be sacked. If we don't finish in the top half, if we don't get a win, I reckon, in the next... Probably after this game, I reckon the board are going to speak to me about how I'm underperforming. I'm just going to blame the injuries we've had, because we've had injuries. I don't think they'll like the fact that I'm going to say we've had injuries, though. This is it, guys. This is the end of the game. 1-0 against West Ham. A very, very poor performance. And it was a poor performance from 
kind of the attacking. If you have a look at the ratings, the defenders did all right, but it was just the attacking third. We was just poor. Um, I'm just going to say I'm not happy. I changed the tactic and see what we've got. We've, we've, we fall into the relegation zone, guys. And six games without a win. We're going to get straight into this Tottenham game. I'll come back to you here. If there is any board interaction, we'll see. So here we are. Here's the lineup for the Tottenham game. We've got it's pretty much it's it's the same team that we had last time. Lumley, Robertson, Ganados, Maguire, Ron, Mamba, Amos, Chong, Loftus Cheek, Passage, and Diaz up front. We're playing back to the fluid counter attack because it's Tottenham away from home. We need we need something. We really do need something. Um we need Chong to step up his game. 19 goals he scored for us this season, and he just hasn't scored for a while. We need Diaz to start getting in the in the goals again. Loftus Cheeks, the one that's managed to stand up recently and get the goals, playing as the shadow striker, and it's suited him quite well. But this Tottenham team isn't going to be a difficult. Well, it's 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 not going to be an easy job. I'm going to get the assistant manager to do the talk. I'm just going to stay focused. Where Tottenham in the league? Tottenham are fourth. We desperately need a win. A draw, any sort of point would be nice. A win would be awesome. Away from home against Tottenham would be fantastic. Passage with the free kick, he goes close. I have had a team meeting in between. The board haven't come to me just yet. I said to the team meeting with the team, we need to book our ideas up, just focus, just keep going, guys. We've not been good recently. Things haven't gone our way, especially with some late goals, all that sort of stuff, injuries. So just, just keep going, lads. It will come. The results will come. Um, I don't think we'll get relegated, but I, I might get sacked. Right, Passage. What's he going to do with it? He's going to shoot. He's going to have a chance. And this is the team. Eight, we're only 18 minutes in, but this is the team I know. Possession, well, 51% possession and actually getting highlights is nice. But this is going to be Tottenham's attack. First highlight for Tottenham. They've not had a shot on goal yet. They've got the, all the possession back now. With them in the 30th minutes, and are they going to show us how it's done? Yeah, they are. They score instantly with their first attack. They score. I can't believe we're going to be in a relegation battle. European football has absolutely screwed us, I think, and we just weren't ready for it. I should have just got us knocked out in the in the group stages. It was the beginning of the season when we had all them fixtures, all them different group stages in between. What we're playing. We started this season early. This is another free kick. And this is the second goal for Tottenham. We started this season early because of the World Cup. Then we had a very weird winter break. And I just think it's just thrown the team off. They weren't ready for it. We weren't prepared. And again, just 2-0. And I don't really know what to do. Oh, I've just... I could shout and demand... Oh, no, I've praised them. I did the wrong thing there, didn't I? Praised them. Well done, lads. You're losing 2-0. Oh, right, I'm... That was terrible. I'm just going to tell him it was terrible. I'm going to change the tactic. We're going to go tick attacker. Screw it. We need to go out there and try and get a goal. Just a goal would be nice. Just aim to get a goal now. Um, it would be good. Two shots. The last game, we barely had any shots. We, we haven't even had any on target. That's our problem. We're not creating chances at the minute. Chong is just playing terribly. I don't know what's up with him this season. I've demanded more from them. They're getting frustrated. And I don't care if they're getting frustrated. They need to spook their eyes up and to start playing football. Because if they're not careful, they're going to be playing in the championship next season with a different manager. And that's going to be the end of it. So come on, guys. Book your ideas up. We've got some good players here. We just need to start playing properly. Amos to Mumba to Amos. Let's get a goal to Maguire. A goal now would be lovely to Ron. Back to Lumley. Ball over the top to literally no one. Absolutely no one. Right. Ball across to Fernandez. I need to make a sub. Right. Can we win this ball? We're not going to. We've given a penalty away for crying out loud. Okay. Sunderland are meant, uh, Tottenham are meant to beat us right now, but we need to just put in a better performance of what we're doing right now because this is shocking. This is I cannot get a good performance out of this team. And it's really, really, really starting to pee me off. And I just don't know what to do. Don't have a clue what to do. Right, make another sub. Change the tactic again. I know I'm changing the tactic way too much. Um, 
Chong is having a poor game. I haven't got anyone... Uh, screw it. Mesut, uh, no, Lee McDermott can play on that right-hand side. Loftus-Cheek, you're having a poor game. I'm going to bring Ganados on there. I'm going to bring on... Sonshi, whatever. That, that would do. Ball winning midfielder because you've got the stats for it. And who else? Stephen Walkley is coming on. He's a youngster. I'll put him on the bench. Screw it. I know I've got Jamie Vardy and Daniel Sturridge kicking around, but they're only here just to mentor, mentor players. I'm going to have to change the change the whole tactic, I think. Maybe just bring Ganados as a ball winning midfielder. As a, it's a 4 3 3. Might be a thing. Ball over the top. Walkley's in. Is he going to score? The first chance he's had. He hasn't scored a senior goal for us. And he's not going to either. He's not good enough. But we might as well just play him. He's a young lad. Like Passage with the corner. Anyone's head? Come on. We've got a lot of people in that box that can win decent headers. Right. Now we're on the attack again. This is what we want to see. They're going to get a red card. Right. Are we finally getting ourselves back into this game? Right. There's their red card. Just a goal would be nice. A goal would be awesome right now because I haven't seen a goal for a good few games. Anyone want to step up and score a goal? They've got a red card now and that's going to be the end of the match. And they've got a guy injured. This is it. It's the last highlight of the game. We've lost 3-0. That was disgustingly poor. I'm disappointed in your performance. The last 10 minutes, we actually started playing football. Again, what are the... Does the board want to talk to me yet? Ooh, there we go. The board wished to hold a meeting to discuss my position at the club. Your performance hasn't been good enough. Fair, yeah, okay, let's attend the meeting. We're not happy with your current performance and continue your position at the club. We would like you to know why you think the team has been performing so badly. This is my first manager. No, we've been here for ages. I've been really unlucky with the amount of injuries and the players have suffered. Hope you can give me more time. We've had a difficult run of games recently, therefore I feel... Right, hang on, before I answer this... Medical staff, injury history, and have we had, which season are we in? Let's put it to date. We have had, 22, we've had a lot of injuries. We have had a lot of injuries this season. The number of injuries in the squad isn't bad. We have had injuries, though. that's the problem. At the minute, there's not a lot of injuries. And, oh, what have I got to do? I might get sacked. Right, you've given me. You have to give me more time. I beg you. I promise that things will look better in a in a month's time. Give me until then. Tell me what I need to do to save my job. I've done so much for the club in my time. Oh, that's when the club's needs upheaval. Blah, blah blah. If you sack me, you'll have an unhappy dressing room. No, I don't think so. I think the the uh, players are starting to not like me. I'm going to say, tell me what I have to do to save my job. We'll give you some more time. We expect to see you pick up nine points in five games. I can do that. Nine points in five games. Let's have a look at our schedule. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Do you know what? I think this is doable because we've got Wolves, Huddersfield, Southampton. Three, so if we win them two, Southampton, Crystal Palace and then Man City. I think that's doable. You guys will come back. I'm probably going to do Wolves, Huddersfield. I don't know how to do this now. Probably It's going to be the Crystal Palace and Man City. That's going to be the end of the five games. So we'll come back to Crystal Palace, Man City. That's when we'll be back. Fingers crossed we can keep this job and just keep going. We're near the end of the season now. This is a very poor one of form. If we have a look at last season, last season was just we had a lot of draws. We were just I think play teams around us as well didn't perform too well, and then we had a lot of decent wins, more wins than draws. Season before that in the Premier League, it looked a lot like what it did now. Look at that massive loss, and probably only to be judged off this season, not the season prior where we managed to finish seventh. Because if you have a look, that wasn't a very good season in the Premier League. It really wasn't at all. But it's fine. Five games to sort my life out. We can do this. I'm going to change the formation a little bit. Play around with 
the team and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some decent results. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. See you later on.